Let's review how to get data off the SMFT1000 into the true test software. We are in our inspection. In the inspection, there is the get data button. When you click on this, you'll see this drop down menu. The first option is to download data from the solar SMFT. That's our SMFT1000. Once you click on that, it will search for the SMFT1000. The things to know are that you need to connect the SMFT1000 to your computer using the USB to optical cable. You need to set the dial on the SMFT1000 to the menu position. And also you need to connect the IRR2 to the SMFT1000 before you download the data. So what I usually do is go into the IV curve setting in the SMFT1000, connect the IRR2 like you would before you're gonna take a test and make sure that they're connected before you download data. Um, this will allow TrueTest to download data off the IRR2 as well. Once those are done, it will connect and say, do you want to download measurements? You click the download button. If there is a new version of the firmware in the SMFT1000, a pop-up box will come up and say, there's a new firmware version available. Do you want to download it? Just be aware that if you decide to do that update, it takes about 20 minutes to download and update the firmware in the SMFT1000. So ensure that you have enough time to be able to do that. You won't have access to TrueTest or the SMFT1000 during those 20 minutes. Now you click download. It will download all the data that's on the SMFT1000. We can see there's four different sets of data on here. If you click the caret on the left-hand side of the data, it will expand the information. It's got the same details that we saw in the unassigned data section. We can see our individual tests. One thing to know, if there is a red flag in this screen, that means the data has already been downloaded to the TrueTest software. I've downloaded this data already, so the red flag's there. If it wasn't a red flag, there would be a checkbox where you could select what data you want to download. You can click the caret to expand the test data, and that's the same information we saw in the unassigned data section that we already reviewed. Measurements, info, notes, location. The location is really important. That's where you can change where that data is going to be assigned to. Another thing you can do in here is change the client or the site number. Say the test technician put in the wrong client or the site and you need to re reassign that. You can click on that button. It opens up this dialog box. You can select an existing client. You can search your clients. You can add a new client as well. Um, once you pick that client, a second dialog box will come up and ask what site you want to assign it to. And then it will ask you what inspection you want to assign it to, whether that's an existing inspection or if you want to create a new inspection for that data. Now, if we go back to the Get Data tab, we can also download data from a file. When we click that, it opens up this folder. This is the default location for where test measurement data is downloaded to from the SMFT1000. So every time you download data from the tool, it creates one of these files. This is really important to know that if you should download some information, you're adjusting it, and for some reason something happened and you deleted that information and you didn't have it saved on the SMFT1000, this is where that data lives. And it will just keep updating every time you download a piece of information. Um, this is also a easy way to share individual test data from different sites with different versions of TrueTest. So if you have multiple instances of TrueTest on several different computers, this is a way that you can share that test data between different computers. You just need to know what day you downloaded that data. You may have to go into the program data folder by typing in the address into the address bar if you're manually going into that folder to get these files. Um, so just be aware of that. If you don't have administration access, that program data folder may be hidden.
Select your file, um, click open, and that will download the file to TrueTest. Another thing that we can do is we can sync with the SMFT. That is going to allow us to add or remove module data from the SMFT 1000. So we've got our module database here. If you have the advanced license of TrueTest, you'll have access to the full database. You also need the advanced TrueTest license in order to use TrueTest to move module information from TrueTest into the SMFT 1000. We're going to go over this screen in more details when we get to the administration section. Just know that you can access this module data through the site inspection by going to get data, sync with SMFT, or through the administration section, which we'll talk about in another video.